Hello, and welcome to this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. Last time we infiltrated Don Conero's mansion, and here we are now in the train graveyard after finding out that the support plate is going to be broken. Okay, that's what I was doing. Right. Take yours off. That's about right. And fire on you with steel. That's how I had wanted it set up. But yeah, so we're going to break the support and completely crush Sector 7. That's not very cool, to say the least. So yeah, mostly these battles have something hidden in them. But the pathway is pretty straightforward. Alright, so we're facing against these guys. These guys, I think, are weak to. These um, ones, Dean Glows, these absorb ice attacks. So, I will actually use Brave on you. And yes, the ghosts appear to be weak to fire. So that's that's good as well. Oh, yep. Go on, Tifa. Finish it off. Shh. Crap, I forgot that happened. Finish it off, Tifa. Nope. Okay. Finish it off, Aerith. Nope. Finally. Go finish it off. Yeah, if you don't seem to realise exactly what I'm doing here, basically, to unlock the next level of Limit Breaks, oh well, the next, uh, I'll show you. You have a uh, Limit Break 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 you can only unlock with an item when you've learned every Limit Break in these three levels. You have your ba basic one, Braver in this case, and when you use that a certain number of times you'll unlock the second level 1 limit break. And then when you defeat a certain amount of enemies with that character, you'll unlock the first limit break from le the next level, like level 2 or level 3, and so on. So, spoiler alert, Cloud will almost always be in our party, so you might as well just not do, like, use him. Like, try and get other characters to do with final blow so you can unlock these limit breaks faster. Which, it makes sense, I suppose. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was kind of out of it there. So yeah, um, there will be an enemy I'm actually wanting to meet around here. And this is actually the guy, that is a shock. Right, so basically... Oh, I just got silenced. Oh well. I just... There's an, there's an item which he has which I would like to steal, so... It might take a while, but... Yeah, so I'll be involved in this fight for a while. Nope, still not stole anything. Well, I don't exactly have magic for her anyway. Oh, if someone with the magic. There we go, right, I got what I wanted. So, time to take him out. The striking staff, which is a really good weapon for Eva at this point in the game, so that's kind of why I'm going after it. Oh come on, who are you? Jesus Christ, stop attacking! Come on girls, you can do it. There we go. Good one, Eva. 
Alright, I was actually expecting... Oh, yes, nice. Tifa just learned her second level 1 limit break. Awesome. What I was going to say is that I was expecting that battle to show up much later than it did. And during that last battle, uh, Cloud used his limit break and he's learned his second level, well, second, first level limit break. And the cross slash and somersault. Come on, Aerith, you need to learn yours. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to get in this train and push it forward. Now, you could just run to the bottom and run around it, but I'm kind of lazy, so I'm just going to jump back in. And that just pushes that carriage out of the way, because that would be blocking quite a lot of issues. Then you want to jump in this one, push all the way back up to that beam above it, and then we just jump over. But oh, not after going picking this up. Awesome. Alright, so uh, we're done with the train graveyard now. Awesome. Now we just need to go and help Barret. I'll leave that for now. Come on. Actually, while I'm here, and I'm going to take you off. Spoilers, Eris is going to be leaving our party for a bit. So I want to be able to get as much as possible done offer just in case I can't. Wait, gunfire? Oh crap. Oh. Well, of course Barry will be fighting. As with the rest of Avalanche, of course they'll be fighting. So what's going on? Where oh god, Wedge! No! Is he dead? Not quite yet, okay. Oh, that looks quite sad. Okay, so... There's Aerith out of our party. We can't go anywhere right now. We're fully level uh healed up. Oops, but before I do, I'm gonna actually buy a couple of items. I'm actually gonna buy a tent. Not for now, but for later. And a couple of potions and a phoenix down. Just to make sure. Before I do, go up I'm gonna save it. Just in case. Not that I necessarily need it, but just in case for now. Oh, oh, I want to go. Up. I want to go up. There we go. Oh look, bigs. Nope. <laughs> You're wounded. Okay. Yeah, but I think you can actually choose both options when talking to these. Swap them over first. Oh well, I'm going to be doing less physical damage, so it's no biggie. These guys can be swords, but oh well, this is the best I can possibly do at this point. Doesn't exactly help that I only have two members. Oh, I'm just physical left for now. Save your magic for later. Awesome.
So we're halfway there. And you can hear Barbara's firing a lot. Oh, Jesse. Is that so? I'm gonna say last. Okay. Okay, quickly after that battle, I uh, need to heal up. Didn't take much, which is good. Well, that battle interrupted me when I was going to try and talk to this guard, which obviously isn't alive. Alright, good talk about it. Yeah, we better equip ourselves. Yep, you stay in the back. I'll give you a mithril armlet. I'll give you cover, lightning, and a star. And I believe that is it. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Ah, it's Reno. Oh, stop him then. Typical. Boss. All right. Now this boss acts a bit different. Right. He puts this pyramid, and whenever he does, it stops the character from attacking. So you need to attack the pyramid. So can I steal anything at this point? I don't think I can. No, nothing to steal at this point. But later on, he does. Alright, let's have to wait till next round to get that off him. Oh, now let's see Cross Slash. I used to love this limit break as a kid. I have no idea what it did. It just looks like stop on me. Holy shit, okay. Did not realise that. Oh well. Shouldn't take too much. Not too many more hits to kill him. Aren't you so well? Come on, use big shot. Kick his ass. Go on. Nice one. So, yeah, it's really easy. Just as long as you make sure your health doesn't get too low and you obviously heal, then no big deal. Oh, I do love this music though. This music's so good. Yeah, I would have assumed it would have been. Right. Okay, it's not a normal time bomb. I didn't think it would have been. Sh well, shouldn't that have happened when Reno touched it? Nah, I'm kidding, it's not a bad one. Yeah, but it's typical, you just think about... Well, don't even think and just shoot instead. Wait, when did he get Aerith? What's she been doing? Yeah, what are you going to do with her? Orders were to catch the last remaining ancient. Which doesn't look that old to me. I don't know what she's talking about. Wait, the explosion's supposed to be starting now? Oh god, it is. Yep, we need to move. And fast. Okay, so instead of looking for a way out, hang around here. Eventually, Barris will discover this over here.
Right. I think I was supposed to talk to Tifa first. My bad. Anyway, come over here. I'll wait until Tifa's on, and then we go. And now we swing out of here. Whee! And they just destroy all of that. That's just stupid. <sighs> so sad. What assholes. We're getting back with this. Too right we will. And for all this, he's just casually watching with his classical music in the background. How screwed up can you be? So, we're alive at least. So yeah, um, this looks, well, devastated, destroyed. Oh yeah, your daughter, and the avalanche crew, well, the ones who were alive. Yeah, just, just let him rant, he needs it. That's the only way he's going to come to terms with it. Him and, and his constant shooting because, you know, that's what he does. That's his character. you got to feel sorry for him, though. Losing, like, his close friends, close enough to be family, and his daughter. Hmm? Marlene's safe. She did say that, didn't she? Yeah, Tifa told them to take care of um, Marlene for her. Yeah, but you're gonna have to accept reality about it. And that's what he's kind of implying, though, isn't he? Even if you say that, it was kind of implied that because of you guys, they're doing this. That's the world, unfortunately, but we can't complain about it. Okay, that sounds a bit surreal. Yeah, you've never said anything, Cloud. Oh, yeah. You really need to focus on the priorities, Barrett. Your daughter is kind of missing. Anyway, before, you just need to go over here to trigger, trigger this. Okay, we'll take you to her. There's something you want. What's that? The Ancients. Oh, yeah. They did call them Aerith Ancient, didn't they? Well, what's this? In my veins courses the blood of the Ancients. I am one of the rightful heirs to this planet. Huh. Sephiroth. Did he say that? This is getting too weird. Anyway, before we go on, let's head back. Because back here, there was a materia sense. Kinda useful. Anyway, just retrace your steps. Retrace your steps, I meant to say. Just Go back to Aerith's house. Right, 
Oh, that was it. I'm gonna go see if that kid has gotten the the good shit. Oh yeah. Let's go talk to the kid. And remember the um the hidden drawer which had the five gill which we left? Yeah. If you take the gill, he won't have the turbo ever, which is really useful to have. Not that I hardly use it, but it's still useful all the same. Alright, so we're here at Irith's house, and I'm going to save it, and next time, we'll go and talk to Aerith and, well, Aerith's mother, and tell her what happened, and we'll then carry on with the rest of the story. So, I hope you will join me again for that, hope to see you again soon, and goodbye.